In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four 3D options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see here you can add the title and the detailed text along with the icon and you can add the option number here and then I've added some shadow effect. And on my next click, it will come the second option. You can see here something like this with different color combination. And then it comes the third one and the last one fourth so likewise i have created one more slide where i have made it more wider also depending on your requirement you can change the slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light color then i'm going to add one more rectangle go to the insert shapes rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill give any other color then go to insert shapes select the right triangle draw the right triangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this and then i'm going to rotate it you can see a flip horizontal and then flip vertical i need to make sure that it is properly aligned so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this one the right triangle area first of all i'm going to select this hold the shift key and select the right triangle at the bottom merge shape and then subtract and again hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this then i can just reduce the size depending on my requirement maybe this much size or i can reduce further not a problem press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some darker color here and just go to rotate and i'm going to flip horizontal and exactly put it something like this okay so now you got a 3d shape something like this now i'm going to fill this cover this area also go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give any dark color or some lighter color any color and then i'm just going to send this to back so you can see here this area has also got filled and i'm going to cover this area with another rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle and cover it till here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color so you can see here the first uh, the option is ready now it's easy for us to copy and paste the other options so what you can do is uh, you can give some uh, gradient fill at this moment only so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this right mouse click go to format shape and then go to fill select the gradient fill now depending on your choice which color you want to choose you can choose it so let me just uh, make it only two stop one stop i'm selecting and i'm going to make maybe uh, a teal color here and another a light teal color so you can see here and then direction you can just change it something like this and again i'm going to copy and paste it here the only difference is you need to just change the this one i'm going to change the linear left so you end up looking like a 3d and here also i'm going to give the gradient fill and again gradient fill i'm going to just change it to this so you can see here and here you can give some lighter color i can give the same color or i can go to more colors and increase the you can see here the shading so it looks something like this now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this option which i have done press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to place this here okay let me just place something like this here and then i'm going to reduce this size then what i'm going to do i'm going to select these options and go to format and bring to front all right now this color again you can change depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to give some color say some darker red you can see here 
and then I'm going to give some some lighter red something like this you can see here now again go to home do the same thing just change the direction you can see here the direction I have changed and for this also I'm going to give the the same here again change the direction something like this and this color again make it lighter color and make it more lighter go to custom and make it more lighter so you can see here and then this area also i'm just going to select this duplicate and make sure that it is properly aligned and then go to format just send this to back so you can see here we end up getting shape something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned yes so this is my second shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy as a third shape so the same steps i'm going to follow now let me just copy this again this part only the bottom part press ctrl d to duplicate sorry i have to just copy this also press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to move it a little bit here you can see here all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select and send this to back all right so this is the back side then again i can reduce the size here if you want you can increase further also so that it fits the other we can change it later on not a problem we can increase or decrease so now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to do anything here let me just copy the fourth option also so again press ctrl d and then i'm just going to put it something like this you can see here something like this this i don't need so starting from here this end and it's ending it here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the size one by one you can see here and this size also i'm going to increase and here also i'm going to increase it and then select all this and go to format send this to back press ctrl z okay now you can see here now the color we need to change it so now i'm going to change this color any color of your choice maybe i'm going to choose some a dark blue color combination you can see here and here with this i'm going to choose some light blue color so you can see here now again go to home select this and again change the direction and here also i'm going to do this one again change the direction and same thing i'm going to do it here and here again i'm going to select this one and more colors customs make it more lighter and then it comes the last one maybe i'm going to choose a color combination of orange you can see here a darker orange with a lighter orange color you can see and then double click this one i can just and then finish it off so again just change the direction and here also it's okay here no problems and this also i'm going to give the lighter color and again make it more lighter here and this area i'm just going to reduce the size select all and put it exactly in the center so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this now let's add the text go to insert text box and i'm going to type a here or you can type one two three also make it white font bold increase the size center align and when i put it here it doesn't look good here because the position is not good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this you got two options here the shape options and text options so we are dealing with the text option so i need to select text options then go to the effects and go to 3d rotation from the presets i'm going to select this one which is off axis to left so you can see here now it is properly aligned 
press ctrl d to duplicate put it for this and here so let me just put this as b and make sure that it is properly aligned and this will be c and this will be d all right and then properly aligned it now if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons you can select the icons uh, depending on your requirement or i have provided the free icons uh, uh, template you can just download it also so let me just randomly select some four icons all right and then i'm going to make it the height and width as maybe 0.7 only and color i'm going to make it a white and then i'm going to copy on each this one and this also what i'm going to do i'm just going to hold the shift key select one by one and then go to the effects under 3d rotation i'm going to just rotate it maybe off axis right yes so this is perfect and then simply you can add the detailed text here just i'm going to r equals l o r e m within bracket one and i'm going to just delete this white font reduce the size press ctrl d to duplicate you can add here ctrl d right aligned just send this to back all right yeah it's back already press ctrl d and one more here and this also you can maybe place it here so you can see here we have added the options we have added the detail text with icons and all those things and then one last thing which is pending is you can add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the the triangle draw the triangle shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size then rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and then just put it here increase the size you can see here maybe you can make it more transparent and then send this to back so you can see here like this and then if you want press ctrl d this also starts sending back all right and ctrl d for this also i'm just going to copy let me just send this back yes and the last one also you can just select this maybe increase the size and send to back so you can see here our design is ready and if you want you can add more options and you can add some basic animation to it.